For the past two years or so, the commentary community has really begun to make a name for itself. With any community, you have the original person or persons that technically founded said community. Then you have those who are early to the trend, making it all the more popular. Then anyone beyond that would just be another to add to the community. Pyre Cynical is in a bit of a weird spot. He's somewhere in between being a founder and being an early adopter. He did play a huge role in making the commentary community what it is today, but he was also just hopping on the leafy is here bandwagon. If you haven't guessed it already, Pyrocynical is part of the commentary community and makes commentary style videos, which I'd say is technically the first real commentary channel I've talked about in a documentary. Who Pyrocynical is on the quality scale seems to be a bit personal. Some think he's a commentary god and others think he's quite boring. But no matter which way you look at it, you can't deny his popularity and success. So today we'll be looking at the famous commentary YouTuber, Pyrocynical. It was on July 27th, 2013, that the channel, Pyrocynical, was created. His real name is known to be Niall, but his last name isn't known for sure. But throughout this video, I'll be referring to him as Pyro, as to not get too confused. If you have known Pyrocynical and seen at least a few of his videos, you'll probably already know that he used to make MLG montage parodies which are, as the name implies, parodies of gaming montages. You would likely know about this because he loves to joke about it in his newer videos, which are nothing like his older ones. His first video, titled How To Pizza, was uploaded on March 30th, 2014. This, of course, was just the first video in a long line of MLG parody videos. To my knowledge, it wasn't until his 250,000 subscriber special that he actually ended up using his voice for the first time in one of his videos. If there was anything before this, it would not be private or deleted. It was quite some time until he did something at least slightly different from his normal MLG videos. On September 27th, 2015, his very first gameplay video, Rust How To Survive, was released. This video itself is very heavily littered with montage parody style editing and jokes, which makes sense considering that was the kind of videos he was making at that time. From that video forward, he continued to do both montage parodies and gameplay videos. It wasn't until October 30th, 2015 that he made his very first ever commentary video with the title, It's Just a Prank Bro. While the video's main purpose was to discuss the, at the time, current status of pranks, he did address in the beginning of the video how it was his very first commentary video, even going as far as to make a skit with Leafy is here, joking about the fact that it was his first. Also, at the start of the video, he addresses the video as a new commentary series, implying that maybe he didn't exactly plan to make them full time as he does now. Whether that was his plan or not, he didn't make a single montage parody after that. But what he did continue was the commentary videos and even the gaming videos, which he still does from time to time to this day. Pyro's commentary videos have undergone a fair amount of change. Initially, his videos just consisted of him talking over gameplay with some cuts in between to show a clip or to continue the video that he may have been reacting to. Speaking of which, a good majority of his content is based on reactions and comments towards a specific video. It's true that he's not always reacting to it, but sometimes just making remarks about it. I wouldn't label him as a reaction channel in the same sort of way I labeled H3H3 Productions, but I certainly would say that some of his videos are just that, reaction videos. Of course, his reactions are always fair use. But getting back to his format, gameplay is now only a thing of the past. But when he was doing commentary over gameplay, he didn't shy away from making jokes about it, like the time he used Connect 4 gameplay or the many times he's used Garfield Kart. October 12th, 2016 was the very first time Pyro ever decided to switch up his format. The video in particular that I'm referring to is his face reveal, which keep in mind his face hadn't really been seen much by anyone online. Supposedly, before his main face reveal, Pyro had uploaded a video of himself brushing his teeth, which was later deleted. 
But there was also the incident where Keemstar made his face more widely known through the use of Twitter. Ever since his official face reveal, he's most frequently used his appearance in his videos. While gameplay and facecam have been the two biggest commentary formats on the channel, he did attempt using this character at one point, which has been his icon for quite some time now, but it wasn't anything prominent. Although, he has used it a little bit, say for example, in his Petscop video. Moving on, I'd like to address the kind of things that he makes videos on. It's true that the term commentary, or commentary channel, is very loose. To commentate about anything pretty much just requires you to say things about a topic, but Pyro tends to stick to a select few different things. Trends, YouTube, and videos. Those are basically the three things that he talks about the most. Every now and then he does a video talking about politics or gaming, but that's not nearly as common. I would say that out of those things, YouTube-related content is the majority on his channel. Pyrocynical has never really had that many things that he could call a series, but there was a time not too long ago when he started something by the name of A Series of Tubes. This series was used to cover multiple different topics and news stories that happened within that week. This would allow him to give an opinion on it without having to make a full video. There hasn't been one for a while, so I'm unsure if he plans to continue it. Pyro is British, sarcastic, monotone, has a deep voice, and has always seemed to be stuck in five layers of irony. He ironically jokes about him ironically joking about at the time he ironically mentioned at the time he used a certain meme on ironically. Of course I'm over exaggerating it, but you get the point. It's the same sort of concept. Oftentimes when there will be some sort of meme or trend that becomes popular, Pyro will use said meme, ironically, or to make fun of someone else. Early on in his career as a commentator, many people would compare him to the, at the time, more popular Leafy is here. But because of this, Pyro started to use a lot of Leafy's phrases and be more like Leafy in a funny and or ironic manner. The two have always been compared. But Pyro, at least publicly, has always taken the hate very well, turning it into a meme and things like that. He's great at taking hate because he sees comments as such a joke. He doesn't get insecure about himself. He just instead runs with what people says and uses it to his own benefit. Going on about Pyro himself though, he's also a very calm and open-minded person. He'll listen to both sides of something and give his opinion afterwards. He will also be very open to admit if he's wrong about something, which he's done before. I think he displays a very healthy mindset. He doesn't take things too seriously, he's willing to hear someone out, and he's open to learning. I can't recall ever hearing him be legitimately mad in a video. He's gotten concerned about things, but he's never really been fully angry. He's pretty genuine, and he's helped people out in the past, giving shoutouts to people like Colossal is Crazy and Lieutenant Corbus practically making their career on YouTube. While he has made a lot of videos criticizing people, most of it is just in good fun. And yes, he has made many videos complaining about YouTube, but only for the fact that he cares about his and other people's standing on YouTube, whether it would be with copyrights and or YouTube as a career. Would I say that Pyrocynical has had the greatest impact and influence in the commentary community? Well, no. Instead, Pyro has seemed to just more exist, bringing us good, entertaining content. He hasn't done anything super impactful or super insightful, but he's not someone you could just replace. He has been involved in his fair share of drama in the past, but these days he's more just sits on the sidelines and watches things as they happen. I'm sure there have been plenty of people that have been inspired to start YouTube because of him, and for what it's worth, he's the one that got me interested in the commentary community. So I think there is value there, in his channel, content, opinions, and overall presence online. Since the days of him copying Leafy, he's really made himself out to be someone unique. I think he serves as a good example of how someone can find originality. Because honestly, if Pyrocynical can do it, so can you.